Thanks, John. Soon we may find out who will run Omaha Public Schools for the next school year, as the district was left with no superintendent finalists just months before the next school year. The board is back to square one, hoping the current superintendent agrees to stay on one more year. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling takes a look at how it all unfolded. It started with a bombshell announcement. We love it here in Omaha, but we just needed more flexibility, and I was at a point in my career where I could. OPS Superintendent Mark Evans announces his retirement on October 3rd last year. Immediately after, the OPS board went to work, starting the next steps in the superintendent search, hiring a firm to find the right candidates. In February, these three finalists were selected. Doctors Paul Gosman, Jane Stavem, and Khalid Mumi. Weeks after, on March 11th, Stavem dropped down. A week later, both Gosman and Mumi took their names out of consideration, leaving the board with no one left, saying the board wasn't on the same page on who to lead the district. The next day, board president Lacey America addresses the situation. We will immediately start our next steps of moving forward. And facing backlash from board members and the community. I am extremely embarrassed right now to be the laughing stock of the education community. Right now, we don't feel like you value our opinions and our judgment. You don't start over from this. You now settle. Yeah, I'm tired of settling and our kids deserve better. On Friday, the accountability committee consisting of board president Lacey Merica, Mark Snow, Ben Perlman, and Amanda Ryan met, and by a three to one vote determines convincing keeping current superintendent Evans is the best move. Saying, quote, this decision was made in part due to Mr. Evans' recent sharing of his personal position with the Board of Education this past Tuesday, April 11th, in order to provide stability to staff and to 52,000 students in this district, said America in a statement. Reporting in Omaha, Nick Starling, 3 News Now. The OPS board will meet tomorrow at 6.30. At 33rd and coming, all nine board members will vote on this proposal and start contract negotiations. And of course, 3 News Now will keep you updated on this developing story.